1997, the people of Scotland voted overwhelmingly by 74% to 26% to establish this Scottish Parliament. Many will have done so to stop a Conservative Party with no mandate in Scotland from imposing policies with little or no support. Throughout the 18-year period of Conservative rule in the 1980s and the 1990s, the Tories tried to recast Scotland in their own right-wing image. That undoubtedly was a major driver for many people in the campaign for devolution. Parties with different views of Scotland's ultimate constitutional destination came together and focused on where we agreed rather than on where we disagreed. I hope in this debate today we will see a similar spirit. Because the Tories haven't lost their hunger to recast Scotland in that right-wing image. The previous Tory tactic was to try to stop the Scottish Parliament from being re-established. Having failed, today the Tory tactic is to try to bypass and constrain this Parliament and Scotland's democratic choices. That is what the UK Government's internal market proposals will do. They take power from this Parliament and they hand it to Boris Johnson and Dominic Cummings in Westminster. The Tories have hijacked and distorted reasonable principles such as mutual recognition and non-discrimination to disguise this power grab. And to add insult to injury, not only do their proposals flagrantly undermine devolution, but they use Brexit, which the people of Scotland voted overwhelmingly against, as a justification for doing so. Presiding officer, the Scottish Government will oppose these proposals at every opportunity and we will work across this chamber with the people and businesses of Scotland to build consensus in doing so. Mm -hmm.